Hello everyone, this is an official Android and I'm your friend Ravi. Today I'm going to show you how you can flash stock ROM on MTK chipset devices. I'm using Micromax Canvas HD, model is A116. So the things you required for flashing the stock ROM in a MTK chipset device, basic is the drivers of that device, SP tool, smartphone flash tool of that device and the stock ROM of that particular device. This canvas HD is based on MTK chipset 6589. So I had already downloaded the files required. If you need some particular, if you need files for some particular device, then let me know. Comment in the section below. First of all, you need to check the drivers of your device, whether they are installed or not. For that, right click on your computer, select manager and this window will appear in front of you that is computer management in this click on device manager now open the tab or the section of ports that is com ports now switch off your phone remove your battery Now insert your battery again and plug in your USB cable. Now you will see a change over here. If still our drivers are not showing, then remove your battery, press your power button. You will see a connection and disconnection. Have you seen that Mobius still drivers? You can try it again once. Switch off your phone, remove your battery, unplug your USB cable and then plug it again and press power button for a while. Here you see the drivers. I am already installed with the drivers. So let's move on. Open the smartphone flash tool, click on schedule order, select the M Android scatter file of your particular device. If your device is not working properly, it is having hanging issues or some other issues like it's not getting on due to ROM installation of ROM or boots, boot images, then I recommend you to go for a format and in this format section you need to select the format except bootloader. Now you need to insert your battery again because this canvas HD doesn't flash without battery. You need to insert the battery. Unplug your USB cable for a while. Now start the process and now plug the USB cable. Very important. Here you will see format 0%. It started now and it's complete. Now the second step is to download the ROM into your device. Select the download mode only. We have already selected the scatter loading file. Here you can see all the files are selected. If you want to change the partition of your MTK chipset device, then you need to change EPR1 
EBR2 for this particular device. In some devices, it's only a single file EBR1. So let's move on. Click on download section. Wait for a while. If it's not getting started, then just remove your USB cable. Remove your battery. Insert battery again and plug USB cable. And it started loading. Now the download process has started. Let's approximately take three minutes, max to max three minutes. Till the time you need to wait. process to complete meanwhile you need not to touch your device or place it somewhere or to shift it its location to avoid the disconnection of the USB cable Let me tell you something different or some other things with this. If your device is totally completely dead, if it's not working or it's not getting on, then you need to try this format before the download. And in that type of format, you need to select format whole flash. This is required when your bootloader is also corrupted and the company says that the device is completely dead or heartbreak and you need to replace the motherboard then no issue with that just click on format and select format hall flash maybe it will take so many tries but definitely you will succeed once and your device will be live again so our process is just going to complete as I told you it will take around three minutes and if you are flashing after a custom ROM installation or a bad custom ROM installation then you definitely require the flashing of IEMI numbers for that you can watch my next video on the IMI numbers that is already being published the download process is completed now close everything and just unplug your USB cable remove your battery and switch it on Here you will see the Canvas HD logo and the device will take 2-3 minutes to boot up. Thank you guys, thank you for watching. If you liked my video, please subscribe to our channel and share it. I am Ravinder Singh signing off.